I was telling the boys in the family were probably a lot easier than telling Kenny. Um, I was a bit nervous going to Kenny's um, office, but me and him had a pretty close relationship at Port Adelaide. We've always been open and we've always had talks throughout the year. It was just finally being able to accept that I am leaving um, was the hardest part. I just said, just make sure it's the right move for you and um, the, the, well, Alison as well, because um, we're going to start a family eventually. And um, he said, it's always family first, and they, he's always been supportive. If there's a bigger offer came, that you sometimes got to make that tough call. Talk to me about. Um Alison and the family aspect? Because a lot of people don't know that there is a bit of a pull for you to go to Melbourne. Yeah, there is a bit of a pull. Um, yeah, our whole family's from um, Melbourne and um, she's come over here for, to support me. And um, There's a little bit of aspect of for her to go back home, but it's more the opportunity that I have in front of me. You use the go home factor to come back to Port Adelaide, now you're going again. Do you understand that some people are going to be angered by that? Yeah, definitely, I can see that. But the main reason for me leaving Brisbane in the first place wasn't actually to come home, it was just to have a fresh opportunity. And my career at Brisbane was a bit stale and stagnant, and I wanted to find a new way to improve, and um, going to Port Adelaide really helped that. What excites you about joining the Kangaroos? Oh, they got a, they got the young players, and they got the core core group of players that are, are really good and really talented, and um, they got the hard midfield. and. It will definitely make my job a lot easier sitting on the outside, that's for sure. So um, they're a pretty similar team to Port Adelaide in many ways with the hard-bodied midfielders. Um, and, and they're the smaller club of the city as well. So it's, they've got a lot of aspects pretty much the same and it's, it just feels like it's another hard-working club. They headhunted you. They, they picked you out for your skill set. That must give you a heap of confidence. Oh, definitely. It makes you feel valued. Um, when, when there are teams after you and it's always a good feeling to have better having it than not. You excited about sticking it down Benny Brown's throat? Yeah, I am. Um, yeah, he's a good, good hit up forward. Um, he uses height well. I don't have to um, screw him too low. I just put place him up a bit higher for him. So no, it's, I'm looking forward to it. What about Brad Scott? Are you looking forward to working with him? Yeah, I've had a couple of chats with him, and um, we're going to sit down um, over the next couple of weeks about um, the game plan and how we're going to work uh, me into it. And yeah, really looking forward to it. He's a good honest guy and um, he's, he's similar to Kenny in a way with the, the family care and off field care and yeah really looking forward to working with him. I, I believe that North Melbourne have set up nicely after last oh, after this year and um, I believe they can I, I believe they can push for a finals as well. The pressure, big deal, big money, are you confident you, you can deal with it and, and sort of and stand up to the expectation? Yeah I believe I can, I believe um, I've played pretty consistently over the last couple of years and building nicely and I believe I can um, build again under a uh, new team, new structure and learn a lot more about myself and learn a, more, learn a lot more about footy.